Hi everyone, myself Raju Mathu. Nowadays, it's a very common feature, or so you can say the functionality that we find out on each and every mobile app that is social media sharing. So, if we talk about social media, then we can find out various media like Facebook, LinkedIn, and other things like that. So, if we need to share something on Facebook, what we need actually? We need a button on our application on click of which we can share something. So before sharing, we need to authenticate ourselves through Facebook. So Titanium provides the inbuilt button which represents the Facebook sharing. So today I'm going to show you how to add that button into your application. So starting with that, I have already created a application that is demo user. So to integrate that button, first of all, we need to add that Facebook module to our application. So it's a common place that is ally.js where we can define our global module or we, uh, function variable or anything else that we need to use globally throughout the application. So for the time being, I am adding here a global variable which will have that Facebook module. So to initialize global variables, I have already made a bid made screencast how to define global variables on titanium using alloy. So for that, let's alloy then global then the name of that variable so I'm going to make it FB module now include that module using require method so here Facebook that's it now in your view for this project will have the index.js sorry index.xml which is our view so here we need to include that button which is provided by the titanium so for this facebook button there is a special tag called login button so let's add a id for that button so for the timing I am using FB button then need to add a namespace under which namespace this button comes so for this it will we will have the Facebook module so the variable that we define on alloy.js we need to define that variable as a namespace for this button so this is the namespace then position for this button let's say we have i'm giving it 100 so that's it now let's save it i'm going to run this application on simulator So using this uh, we can also have the different style for this button we can this is using this login button we have a common button that we can see on the our application and we can also have different style like uh, FB button style wide so that will uh, that I will uh, show you later on on this video. So it's running. So here you can see that this is the login button that I have included in, into this application. So by this way, you can also add this button to your application as per your requirement. That's it. So 
now let's see let's add the uh, another button style for this button so to have this button on add a common uh, white button style let's go to the controller of this view so no i am going to call that button so i have defined fb button as a id for that button and then need to add the style for that which is oh before that sorry before that we need to call that module facebook module so that we can extract that facebook module um, facebook button style from that module for this button so let me create a variable called fb then call that global variable that i have included on the li.js file so that's it now the button style that are defined on that facebook module is button underscore style underscore y that's it only so here you go let's save it and let's run it again and uh, one other functionality that this button provides like if I once I logged in to this application using this button the button automatically change its state or its background you can say like if uh, anyone is get logged into the application using this button they will have another background for this button and once they get log out from that uh, application uh, sorry from that Facebook within that application then again this button gets changed its background color or the state so here you can see that this is the white state of this button so that's it for today on my next video i will show you how to log into the your application using facebook or uh, how to log in to the facebook using this button so up to this for today thanks